Welcome to the 3 a.m. lowdown. We are now witnessing a tipping point. You see, the burden of proof used to be on the believers to prove that UFOs are real. Now the burden of proof has shifted to the government and the military to prove that they're not real. But the evidence is overwhelming. We have all this information from U.S. Navy pilots. We now have metrics. We can actually measure how fast they travel, how high they are, what kinds of centrifugal forces that they can experience. And science, remember, is based on things that are testable, reproducible, right. and falsifiable. Now we have testable information, a game changer. Both of us, both airplanes, see a disturbance in the water and a white 40-foot long tic-tac shaped object just hovering above the water, going forward, back, left, right. There's no rotor wash, there's no wings, nothing. And as I get within about a half mile of it, it rapidly accelerates to the south in about two seconds and disappears. This was extremely abrupt, like a ping pong ball bouncing off a wall. The ability to hover over the water and then start a vertical climb from basically zero up towards about 12,000 feet and then accelerate in less than two seconds and disappear is something I had never seen in my life. I believe, as do the other folks that were on the flight, that we, when we visually saw it, that it was something not from this world. We are well beyond right now establishing whether or not these, these things exist. It is an absolute fact that they are there. There is very compelling evidence that we, uh, we may not be alone. There are no wing surfaces, there's no exhaust. So there's nothing that we're familiar with that we've deployed in the air that uh, has a power source uh, other than chemical energy like fuel. These, these are so radically different than anything we're familiar, we're familiar with and their performance is so advanced and so sophisticated, it, it's frankly just baffling. So is, is, it, is it fair to boil it down to two possibilities? Either another country has leapfrogged the United States in technology or extraterrestrial? Those are the leading hypotheses, yes. You think the U.S. government has debris from a UFO in its possession right I, now. Unfortunately, Tucker, I, I really have to be careful of my NDA. I really can't go into a lot of more detail in that. Okay. But uh, simply put, yes. Like, share, and subscribe, please. It helps out a lot. Thank you.